Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo. And I'm Shantria Tran. And welcome to this introduction video to data elements in DHIS2. So, we've already looked in the previous video at the three core dimensions mm -hmm. within DHIS2. And mm -hmm. today we're looking at... We are looking at the what today. So using our previous example, this um, adapted USDA indicator here, which states number of students regularly attending schools in Ontario French language schools in September 2016, and regularly in this case means 80% uh, or higher. And if we were to look at the what, that would be the data element. The DHIS2 user manual uh, states that a data element often represents the count of something. So in our example here, we're going to use uh, number of students regularly, 80% or higher, attending schools. That would be our what, what we're counting. And just to keep the example and the exercise very simple, we're assuming that the calculation of 80% or higher has been done um, on paper prior to entering it into the system, into DHIS2. One thing to note is that indicators and data elements in DHIS2 are not the same things. Data elements are raw counts, raw numbers, um, raw data, and indicators are um, uh, calculations. What data elements can do also is it can be further disaggregated into categories. So we can break it up into gender, male, female, other. We can um, break it up into age range, you know, below or above 18 years old and so on. The, the possibilities are limitless. So let's look at what these data elements do in the system and how they interact with indicators. So the top here, we have form A, form B, form C, and a bunch mm -hmm. of these data elements in each form. So we're going to look at data element five, mm -hmm. which is in form A and form B. And of yeah. course, once we enter those, those are going to go into the data warehouse in DHIS2. Those will be stored as data element five as we see there. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to use data element five as a part of an indicator, which is in this case, data element four plus data element five divided by data element 15. Right. So and now we have this data indicator two. Mm -hmm. And so that really, I think, clearly demonstrates the relationship between a data element and an indicator and how mm -hmm. they are different and how they're related. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the fact that you can make and delete and change indicators in the system without affecting the data that's actually stored in the data elements. Mm -hmm. And finally, of course, we have our indicator two, so we can make a report and see what we're actually wanting to see and show off how great we are. Yeah. Um, so our next couple of slides is just gonna be a quick little quiz just to review what we've um, covered in this video. And have a go, have fun, good <laughs> luck. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Uh, once again, you can always contact us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or click right there on the link to access the online curriculum. Have a good one.